Cassandra Lowry here and today I am going to show you a simple skincare routine and while my mask is setting I'm going to show you a little bit of the products that we have to offer. So first up when you're going to do a skincare routine of course you're going to want to wash your face. Okay so today I am going to be using our egg on your face cleanser. This is a super gentle cleanser. This is really good for people who have sensitive skin. I have a tendency to be really sensitive in this area and it's also really good if you have any kind of redness in your face. So we are going to get started with this. There are going to be some times where I'm going to pop in and out but I'm going to try my best to stay in camera on the screen whatever so that you can see what I'm doing. So first up we're going to use this. I'm going to get my hands a little wet and show you that a little bit goes a long way. So you're just gonna have to use about this much, okay, for your whole face. You don't have to use a whole lot of our products because they don't have any filler. So you're getting just the great producty goodness. Another thing you're gonna notice is our products, face washes don't really lather, okay? Lather does not mean clean, but as you can see, you are getting this creamy, lather. You're just not getting the big bubbles that you're used to from those other guys. Okay, so you're just going to want to <laughs> wash up your face. And of course, you would do around your eyes because it's gentle enough for that. But we're not going to do that today just because I am trying to show you all how to do these. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to have to go off camera for a second and then we will be back to do the mask. Okay, all washed and pat and dry. So next thing we are going to do is apply our face mask. Today I am going to use our detoxing cackle spackle face mask. You can put this on, got a little bit of water. You can put this on with your fingers or you can use a brush. I am going to use a silicone mask brush. So with these, you're going to, again, a little bit goes a long way. I have about that much on my brush and I may need to get some more. We'll find out in a minute. You don't have to put it on really thick. A little bit really does go a long way. Um, when masking, you want to make sure that you don't get this in your eyes. This one um, has a lot of peppermint in it, so it is very minty. It might make your eyes water a little bit. This is one of those masks that you can really feel working. You can feel the charcoal in it and the clay pulling on your skin. It also has a little bit of a tingle thanks to the peppermint essential oils that are in there. And it's just really good to get all the junk out of your pores. It helps to reduce oil. It helps to take... Um, blackheads away because lord knows we need those out and gone especially on this nose so i do need a little tiny bit more so i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more off on my brush and we're going to apply and make sure you get all all your parts okay so again, like I said, you do not have to put these on super thick. A little bit is really all you need to get all the good detoxing benefits of this mask. Okay, so we are going to let this sit, maybe. And what it does, we're gonna talk a little bit about some other products that we offer, okay? so. One of my favorite things about Posh is our Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams. They come in a ton of different varieties, a bunch of different scents. A little bit really goes a long way. I'm going to say that a bunch, okay? Because it really does. So, for the hand cream, this much, okay? That's all you need. You don't need to squeeze a whole bunch in there. There's not any fillers, just a bunch of great butters and essential oils, and they are going to moisturize without having to use a ton. A hand cream is going to last you 
three to six months if you're using it every day. Okay, good to go. No oily residue left behind. You're not gonna get trapped in your bathroom. You don't have to wait for your lotion to dry before you can touch anything. You're good to go, okay? So next, we are gonna talk about our soaps. This is a new soap that we have. This is a pink kimono soap. It does have a little bit of kiwi seeds inside for a little bit of exfoliation. If we can get it open. Maybe. Hold on. Okay. So it's got a little bit of kiwi seeds from exfoliation. So if you wanted to apply this bar directly to your body, you can, and it is going to work just great. Or you can use your favorite loofah or your washcloth. Throw out those yucky body washes. They are full of so much junk and filler and sulfates and parabens that are just bad for your skin. These guys are made from palm oil and shea butter. So no tallow. Did you know that tallow is rendered animal fat? I don't know about you, but I don't want to shower with a cheeseburger. So I'm so glad that I have these soaps. Next, we will talk about face masks. Why not? I have one on right now. All of our face masks are going to come in the size of a container. We have a big variety of face masks. They do different things. We have a peel mask that is super gentle. It's not going to peel your face off. Okay. And then sometimes we have exclusive masks. So they're going to come in a different size container. Okay. So sometimes they're going to come in a tub like this, or they're going to come in a tub like this. You're still getting the same um, amount. So you're still getting the same amount of mask in this container as you are getting in a container this size. Okay. So packaging isn't everything. Next, we will talk about some body products. These are our body butters. These are really large containers. They are super thick. As you can see, that's not going anywhere. Super thick. This one has a really, really light scent. So if you are someone who is scent sensitive or you work somewhere where you can't really have a whole lot of fragrance on your body, then this guy right here is definitely going to be for you. We also have, again, packaging isn't everything. Sometimes you will see our body butters in this type of a container. Still same great quantity, just a different presentation. As you can see with this one, it is a little thinner than the other one, but still, that body butter is not going anywhere. This magnesium one is really good for any kind of like muscle aches that you have. It's really good for back knee. Magnesium is great for acne, so this is definitely something good. If you're going to the gym on a regular basis, get you one of these. You'll not be sorry. Face wash and facial moisturizer. So we have a lot of options when it comes to this program because there's so many different things that people need for their different types of skin. So I am going to show you a couple. If my box will cooperate, I'm going to show you a couple. And then we're going to wash this mask off. Maybe. Again, like I said, we're not cooperating here. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Our so soapies. Four parts of the coconut, 25% more shea butter, three times the fragrance, super good. Beach blanket is my jam. Look, my max is starting to dry and we're cracking. Okay, if my tote would cooperate, here we go. Found a moisturizer, found another moisturizer, and now we can chat. Okay, so face wash, we have a lot, okay? We have BFF, this is old packaging. Yours won't look like this. We have BFF. We have egg on your face, which I used in the beginning of this video, and we have Bright Young Thing. Bright Young Thing is in my shower because it's my daily wash, okay? Super good. They all come in the same size container. Next, we're going to talk about moisturizer. Again, old packaging. Yours is not going to look like this. It's going to be this size, not going to be in these clothes. This one is Moisturize 911. It is caffeinated, tighten, brighten, balance, okay? Orange essential oils has a nice little orangey fragrance. Then we have under control, obsessed. I have an oily, I call it my reverse T-zone because it's here, not here. Crazy, I have weird skin. Okay, so this is mattifying. This is also really good if you have any kind of acne. It helps to um, 
minimize your pores, it helps to control your acne, it's mattifying, it's great to wear underneath your foundation if that's what you do. This is super good. It comes in this type of container and we're going to use this in a minute. We also have Impress Me. It is a serum and a moisturizer. Also comes in this size container. Then we have Call Your Shrink. This is a pore reducing moisturizer. This is more for people more on the kind of like drier side of skin that has pore issues because this guy is super thick, okay? This one, this is good for normal skin types. If you're not overly dry or overly oily, then this one is going to be the one for you. Okay, so now we are going to wash off this mask because we're already 10 minutes in and I'm sure you're sick of listening to me. So, first things first, we're gonna realize that we have forgotten our washcloth, so we're gonna have to YOLO this. So, I'm gonna make a big mess in my bathroom. Give me just a second. It's probably gonna take a minute. I'll be right back. Going down here. I've been working in a coal mine or a mechanic shop gone wrong. got it all off because I did not use um, soap on my eyes when I wash my face. My mascara is running all over the place. So you want to make sure that you got it all off. Okay. Which it appears that we have. So now you are going to want to moisturize. So I'm going to use a an amazing anti-aging serum that we have called Defiant. So when you are putting on your moisturizers, you want to do serums first, and you're gonna layer those from lightest to heaviest. Our um, Nothing Phases Me Serum with the cholesterol and anti-gravity detoxing pore refining serum is great. It's not up here, sorry. So if you were going to use that one, then you would use that one first. Because this is a heavier serum, I'm going to use this one today. One little tiny pump, okay? That's it. That's all it takes from this. Okay, do you see that? One tiny little pump. So we're going to dab that on. Dab it on here. Dab it here. And you want to use these parts of your fingers or your hands because they do not apply as much pressure. And the skin on your face, especially around your eyes, is super, super sensitive. And you don't want to do a lot of pulling and tugging on your skin because it causes wrinkles and nobody wants that, right? Okay, so we're going to put that on. We are going to let it absorb in. And then we are going to use an actual moisturizer. You should be applying moisturizer to your face every day, even if you have oily skin, because excess oil is a result of you're not putting enough moisture into your skin. So your oil glands freak out and start producing excess oil. So I totally recommend that you do this under control if you do have oily skin. Again, yeah, it's oil control, it's mattifying, and it's really, really good for your skin. It has this little clear top. You're gonna want to put that back on when you're done, okay? I typically just use this off of here. You don't wanna use a whole lot. I like to say like a fat pee is all you need for your whole face, okay? So we're gonna go in. This kind of has a little bit of a minty fragrance to it. It's got matcha green tea, 
which is super good for your body. So it has to be super good for your skin. So you saw, I just took the little tiny bit that's more than enough for my face. There's still a good bit left on the lid. I'm gonna bring this down because you also want to moisturize that skin as well. Okay, so we are all moisturized and ready to go. If you have any questions about anything you have seen here today, please just let me know. You can give me a tag down in the comments or you can send me a private message. I'm happy to assist with anything and I have hope that you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Go Pamper!